Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the benefits of using instrumental methods such as flame photometers. So we're going to start off with what a flame photometer is. Now nice and simply, it's something that measures light intensity. It can also be used to separate out different colours for different elements and produce something called an emission spectra. For example, the emission spectra for hydrogen looks like this. Oxygen looks like this. Sodium looks like this and potassium looks like this. Now how is this useful, I hear you ask? Nice and simply, if you have an unknown element and you compare it against all these known ones, you can use it to find out what your unknown sample is. So for example, if we looked at unknown A, we could see that it has the same emission lines as sodium. So we know that unknown A is sodium. So why is this better than using a flame test? Nice and simply, it's more accurate. Each emission spectra is unique. There's only one for each element. It's also more sensitive. It'll pick up on smaller amounts of something. And it's faster, much, much faster than carrying out analysis by yourself. Now the beauty is, that is your answer for everything to do with instrumental methods. Every single time it asks you why you would use an instrument instead of whatever you do in the lab, more accurate, more sensitive, and faster. Three easy marks in an exam. Okay, the final thing we need to talk about then is that measuring light intensity. So I've got a graph over here which is showing me the light intensity and the concentration of different solutions. What we can do is we can work out the concentration of an unknown. This is known as a calibration curve. So for example, if you're given something with an intensity of 4.2, all you do is you find 4.2 on your graph, on your light intensity, you draw across, you draw down, and you can work out the concentration of your unknown solution. So for example, concentration of X is 0.11. So what can the examiner ask you on this? Well, let's have a look at a few questions. An unknown sample is added to a flame and it turns a red color. Dave suggests that the sample is lithium. Mike suggests putting the sample into a flame photometer. So question one, describe what a flame photometer is used for. There are two things we talked about in the video. Have a think through, write them down. Question two, explain why you should use a flame photometer instead of a flame test. So why is an instrumental method better than what you would use in a lab at school? And then number three, the sample had a light intensity of 6.0. What is the concentration of the unknown solution? So read across from six, read down, give me your answer. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So question one, what is a flame photometer used for? It measures light intensity and it can produce emission spectra or separate out colors. Both of those will get you your two marks. Question two, explain why you should use a flame photometer instead of a flame test. Three easy marks here. It's more accurate, it's more sensitive, and it's faster. And then finally, you've got a light intensity of 6.0. What is the concentration? So you read across and down from six, and that's going to give you something around 0.0165. The examiner will usually give you anything between 0.015 and 0.017 there, as long as it's close and within one box. And that really is everything you need to know on instrumental methods. I have got a review question for you, which is an unknown sample is added to a flame photometer. It's compared against four known gases, A, B, C, and D. So the question is, describe the advantages of using a flame photometry and identify the gases present in the mixture. So have a look at the unknown mixture, which two gases out of A, B, C, and D are present in that mixture. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.